Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. Before we get into the video, let's give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. So AMC, scary, scary times, guys. I know a lot of people is terrified right now, scared out of their boots, don't know what to do, don't know if they should sell, don't know if they should hold, don't know if they should go ahead and give up. So let's go ahead and get into the video, guys. Share my thoughts and my opinions on what I believe is to come for AMC as a whole in the stock market. So we know your boy was wrong today, guys. We was most definitely wrong. We wasn't expecting what had happened today. We ended the day at $21.17. We expected the whole firm support at 23. We know we could break 23 just to here due to market makers trying to take out those stock losses. So we end up coming down even lower than that, coming down to 21.17, guys. So excuse me you know we got to keep going <laughs> excuse me so anyways my thing is it's a lot of controversy out there it's a lot of rumors about a recession is coming a market crash is coming we got all these different things that's coming at us while wow, we still going through some trials and tribulations with amc we had some momentum going on last week we got to that offense defense barrier that's at thirty dollars over thirty dollars a share we is back on offense. And like I told you guys, it took them eight months to get us down to the low $13, $14 range. And it took us 14 days to get right back on offense. Basically, once we got over 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, they were shitting in their boots because we was back on offense. Whether y'all believe that or not, that $30 barrier, being up under 30, that make us vulnerable, that, have, that make them be in full control, have the say-so. Once we get above 30, we is back they vulnerable and we is in control so with that being said just to see how quick and fast this thing could run and how fast and easy we could get back to where we was that's what helped keeps me at ease as well guys like i told you guys once amc starts to run it's going to run very very hard and ain't going to be no stopping it so i know it's a lot of you know scary it's a scary situation right now guys it's a lot going on but we also got to look at the fact that if you've been following the channel, I've been telling you guys that the market has been one big mixed emotions, meaning everything was moving simultaneously, going in the same direction, mean stocks, regular traditional stocks, every sector in the market, all of it was going down in the red at one point, and all of it was going up at the same time whenever the market started to recover. Then all of a sudden, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, the market starting to do, you know, start to go back to a normal market meaning you have different sectors that's hot some that's not some that's consolidating you know going back to the normal market vibes so anyways we know before the market was moving simultaneously together we had mean stocks moving in one direction and whatever direction mean stocks was going in the regular traditional stock market was going in the opposite direction so meaning if a market crash in a recession any type of crisis that came about and especially what people were speaking on now this is going to be in favor for mean stocks and AMC due to the fact that we're not dependent on the fundamental aspects of what, you know, the CEO is actually doing. Of course, now we need that. We want it because that's going to help be beneficial to us in the long run because that way we holding it for a squeeze play. But while they working on those logistics, we also holding something that could be value fundamentally. So it's the best of both worlds. But my thing is, uh, I don't know if you guys paid attention, but the day before yesterday, I believe Monday, the market was doing very well. Twitter, Elon Musk bought Twitter. It helped bring up technology stocks and all of them started soaring. They started going up as well. While AMC was staying in the same spot, kind of coming down and mean stocks, they wasn't doing so good. They was on the opposite frequency than a regular traditional stock market. But now, all of a sudden on today, those same, the, the overall traditional stock market was trending down, pulling back. We know the Fed's come out, put this speculation on the market, talking about tightening the balance sheet. So with that being said, we know the Fed's came out a couple weeks ago. They came out and talking about hiking interest rates. And that also put a dictation on the market. We was expecting for the market to go up. But once they came out and announced that, it put a, it, the desk, as soon as they came out and announced that, the market came tumbling down. So we know the feds have a little control over the market. And once they come out and speak, it can most definitely be a dictation on the markets. That's exactly what happened today as well, too, guys. So my thing is, though, they only do it 
they don't let AMC be beneficial to us during circumstances like this. Like today, as the overall traditional market was pulling back, AMC should have been running up. GME should have been running up, being for the fact that it's on opposite frequency now. It was trending together, all of it coming down the same time, going up the same time, but we is no longer on that way. Things is doing what it want to do. You got certain sectors that's hot, certain sectors that's not, and you got AMC and GME pulling back whenever the traditional stock market is going up. But whenever the traditional stock market is coming down, AMC and GME either staying the same or they coming down with it. So you get what I'm saying? You get what's going on here, right? So anyways, guys, I know it's scary. I know it's a scary time. But my thing is, we still doing way better than what we previously was doing. We was just trading at the low $13, $14 range. And you probably saying, well, Hayes, it's looking like we're going right back down there. And guys, believe it or not, if we do, I don't think we is. Even though I was wrong about today, we didn't hold that 23 support and didn't run up to 25, 26. I didn't expect anything spectacular on the day. I just expected us to run up to 25, 26. We should be running up to after breaking 23, 47 like we did on this morning. If things was looking good. We should have been running up to around the high 20s, 29 to early 30s, 30, 31. But like I said, I believe it'll be a slow grind back up after they killed that momentum. Back on last week, the way they did by halting the stock to the downside, that kind of, you know, slow momentum down. So anyways, guys, I do believe we will come down to around 20, the low 20s, $20.17 and then bounce from there. I know I was wrong about coming down to 23, holding support there, but being for the psycho psychological aspects of the market, that will be a, 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 smooth, a smooth spot for it to come down to before reversing. Because we know, they know, anybody that was educated on the market could see exactly what resistance, what support, what to expect. And that's the market for you. It want to confuse you. It want to make you not think you know what you're talking about and keep you in a gutter. So I do believe that next spot will be $20.17, the low 20s. I do believe we will get that bounce from there, guys, because people is most definitely wanting to eat up these cheap shares. And say worse come to worse. Say we do come all the way back down to 13, 14, 15, 12, 9. Like, what is you? Like, I hope you ain't selling now. You should have been sold because this thing can't do nothing but go up from here, guys. It ain't nothing but up. And what we seen on last week was just a preview of what's to come. So if you on the edge about selling, or thinking about selling any of that, be my guest. Go ahead and sell. Because the more of you that go ahead and sell, that's the quicker this thing is going to run up. And if you don't believe me, give it a shot. Sell your position and watch how we take off. Watch how we take off now. So you already know, guys, like I said, just don't be learning from this. Don't be putting all your eggs in one basket and be dependent on one situation when you got so many opportunities that's coming up in the market, guys. So you already know that's all I got for this video. I just want to put you guys at ease because I know it's a scary situation going on right now. But just look at the bright side. We we tr we still up way better than we was at our lowest point. And I don't think we're going back to that lowest point. We'll come down to the low 20s bounce off that around twenty dollars and seventeen cents might even try to hit 19 but i do believe we'll come down to the low 20s and then bounce from there guys and go right back up to retest that 23 dollar resistance and once we blast through it that's the bright thing about that 23 being right here in the 20s that's the good thing about it because 23 dollars and 37 cents right around that area as soon as we break break through it there's no walls all the way back to where our previous high point was before coming back down. So you already know, guys, that's all I got for this video. Just want to give you guys a quick update, share my thoughts and my opinions on AMC and the markets. So you already know, add me on Instagram at the BHA Show. I love y'all. We out and God bless you. We gone.